Hello everybody. There are a million videos out there about how to repair the cord on a MacBook a MagSafe power adapter. So I'm not going to bore you with anything that you can already read about, but I am going to share with you my solution for this that I think looks a little better than most of the solutions I've seen. So the real problem with this is that this section right here, this rubber, is really, really stiff. It's not very flexible, and therefore the wire keeps bending at this point and eventually breaks. So my, uh, so my idea is to take some standard quarter-inch vinyl drip tubing, super inexpensive. It's quite flexible, and it's the perfect diameter to slip this cord through. This is the basic idea of providing something that's a little more flexible that allows this cable to bend a little bit more than the restriction provided by this rubber here. So the first thing I've done is I've cut this off, as you can see here. Cut it as close to the flat surface here as I can. The next thing I did was to just pull the wire out. I pulled the center conductor out so you can see that I pulled the center conductor out. There it is right there. And you can see that the shield or the black conductor is still in there. So I'm going to pull that out next with just a pair of needle nose pliers. I'm ho hopeful that it'll come out. Well, after a little bit of work, I've got the two wires out of this and the hole completely clear. All the insulation, everything's out of there. By the way, one of the things I did just to clean up these holes was I just used a small drill and by hand just cleaned up the holes inside. There were a few strands of wire in there. But everything you see here, this is all the stuff that came out of trying to get that cable out of here. So I have a couple of ways I could approach this. I could merely put the wire back in, but it's going to break again at this spot. Or I could put the wire back in with my vinyl and try to move the stress point, the inflection point from here down to here. So let me investigate this a little further and I'll show you what my solution is. So you can see here I've used a very small drill and I've enlarged the holes just a little bit. I have my wire here all ready to go. I put a little piece of shrink tubing back here. And I'll show you what that's for a little bit later. I'm going to slide my vinyl on. I'm going to attach two small copper wires so that I can use those to pull this through the connector. I have my two little copper fish wires attached. So let me see if I can fish this through the strain relief. You can see here I've got the wires through. I end up having to drill this hole out a little bit bigger to get all the wires in. I got a little piece of shrink tubing over the shield and that takes care of uh, the most important difficult end actually. One other tip, I uh, put a little bit of uh, super glue down inside this jacket before I slid slid this on so there's some adhesive that's between the outer jacket of the cord and the inner hole here. So you can see I've got a little bit of white heat shrink tubing right here. Oh, by the way, while you have it apart, you might want to slide some shrink tubing down on this end so you don't get any breakage down here uh, for the same reasons we had breakage on, on this end. But just an idea while you have it apart, slice some shrink tubing down there. I've taken the black vinyl, as you can see here, I've just used my needle on those pliers and I've expanded it a little bit. 
Anyway, that's the idea. I have my connections all soldered. You can see them right here. And I'm just going to put some shrink tubing on those and button this up. Here it is all finished up and I think it looks pretty nice. It certainly looks look a lot better than uh, many of the videos I've seen out there where they've got all kinds of hot glue and all kinds of other things. So not only does it look nice, but it's uh, very functional. It's not going to break in that same spot again, for sure. It'll break out here somewhere. If it does, probably break out in here.